Hi, and welcome to the Keyword Grouper training video. My name is Jared. I'm the creator of Keyword Grouper, and in this video, I want to talk about all the features and settings within the program. First, let's talk about what Keyword Grouper is and what it isn't for those that don't know. Keyword Grouper is a keyword grouping software that uses an advanced algorithm to group your keywords into common themes based on the settings you set within the program. Keyword Grouper is not a keyword generation software. There are plenty of keyword tools out there that allow you to generate keywords, such as the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. You can also export keywords from Google Analytics. You can also use keyword tools that are free, like PPC Keyword Generator. You enter a list, you swap a list back and forth, and you generate your keywords. But that's not what Keyword Grouper is. Keyword Grouper is, once you have your keyword list, how do you group your keywords into common themes? And that's where Keyword Grouper comes in. So let's talk about the settings within step one of Keyword Grouper. In step one of Keyword Grouper, you've already gone out, you have a list of keywords, and then you simply paste it into this text area here. The next step is to clean the keyword list from unwanted characters. So you use this circle arrow icon. That's gonna go out, look at your keyword list, and it's going to return all the symbols that are not letters and not numbers. Chances are you want to remove these characters from your keyword list. If you don't, for example, let's say there's an apostrophe, you want to make sure all keywords with an apostrophe are still in the keywords, then you can remove it. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to remove all characters that are not letters and numbers, and I'm going to replace them with a space. You can click this magnifying glass, and that replaced all the characters that were not letters and numbers within my keyword list. The problem now is you might have duplicates, but don't worry because when you hit this next button, all duplicates are ignored. So if you do have duplicate keywords in this list, it's not a big deal. Keyword Grouper won't create duplicate keywords. So now we're going to go on to step two. Step two contains the core functionality of Keyword Grouper. The settings you set here dictate what the program will output. What's nice is you can change a lot of settings on the fly in order to get the right output that you're looking for. A lot of search engine marketers and SEO analysts have a certain way they like to group keywords, and there's no right or wrong way. So having a lot of options and preferences gives you a lot of flexibility in generating the output. So let's begin by talking about what kind of settings exist here in Keyword Grouper. First, you can generate common themes. You can add common themes of your own. And then we go into the settings. So let's talk about the settings. The first setting I want to talk about is the Analyze Frequency setting. What this setting does is it allows you to analyze the keyword density of your keyword list for one word keyword frequencies up to five word keyword frequencies. Think of a keyword frequency as a key phrase. So in other words, if we checked F5, we would want to know the keyword frequency of five word key phrases within our keyword list. These settings give you, the SEO or the SEM expert, the ability and flexibility to output keyword frequencies in a conventional way that you want to see and create groups from. These keyword frequencies get generated in the generated common themes area. So let me just show you, for example, let's hit generate common themes, and we can see that our output is three word and two word keyword frequencies. So all these words have two words in them. In other words, they are a two-word phrase. Up here we have three-word keyword frequencies or three-word phrases. So you can see that you have a lot of flexibility in determining how you actually want to create your keyword groupings. The next setting I want to talk about are match types. Keyword Grouper has the ability to output different match types for each keyword. So to illustrate this, Let's just generate common themes, hit next, and hit next. And when we look into a group, let's say we're looking at this group called DW Windows, we can see that we have a group called DW Windows, we have a keyword called DW Windows, and we have broad phrase and exact for that keyword within this group. So Keyword Grouper can create different match types for each keyword in each group. The next feature I want to talk about is the Remove Duplicates feature. 
If you check this also remove short keywords checkbox, what will happen is Keyword Grouper will remove any keywords that are three characters or less. So, for example, let's say we had a keyword list that looked like this, and then we hit Next, Generate Common Themes, Zero are found. That's because all our keywords in that list are less than four characters. In other words, they're three characters or less. So that's what the Remove Duplicates feature does. Now let's talk about the miscellaneous area because this is where a lot of very useful features within Keyword Grouper are. So let's talk about group each keyword into its own ad group. When this is checked, each keyword will get grouped into its own group. For example, if you wanted to create a paid search account structure where each keyword had its own ad group, you could put broad phrase and exact match types of that same keyword within one group and you can do it extremely quickly and easily right here. Let's say the campaign name was Windows for example. Hit apply, generate common themes, and now there are 753 common themes found. That's because there are 755 keywords here, there must be two duplicate keywords. So let's hit next. Let's hit next. Now we can see each keyword is in its own ad group. In other words, it's in its own group. And we have three different match types for that same keyword within the group that's called the name of the keyword. So we have a campaign here, ad group here, keyword and match type. The next feature I want to talk about is a very important one. It's this strict word order checkbox. So what this means is when you're grouping your keywords, the program will look and see if you have this checkbox checked. If it's checked, that means that the order that the words appear within the keywords are important. So for example, American Craftsman Windows. That means that only keywords that contain American Craftsman Windows, that entire exact phrase, will go into this group. If you loosen the restrictions here a little bit and you say strict word order doesn't really matter, so now American and Craftsman and Windows has to appear within the keyword, but it can appear in any order. So it could be Craftsman American Windows, it could be Windows American Craftsman, and so on. So strict word order allows you to tighten or loosen the constraints on the keyword grouping algorithm when you're grouping your keywords. The next feature within Keyword Grouper is the merge sort groups. So imagine you have a keyword list, it's all about Windows, right? And then you throw in a keyword about cats. Well, trying to group that cats keyword into Windows type ad groups won't make a lot of sense and it's going to pretty much end up with the keyword having no place to go. So what you can say in that instance is, hey, keyword grouper, you couldn't find groups for these keywords, so here's what I want you to do. Group all those keywords into one group. We're going to call it asterisk sort and I will manually sort them later. Or option B is you can uncheck this and you can say, okay, maybe I can't find the best group for this, but at least make your best guess. And Keyword Grouper will automatically try and figure out a way to group your keywords. So one is you're just saying, don't make a mess with all the sort groups, just put them into one group, I'll sort them out later. Two is you're going to say, take your best guess, even if it doesn't fit the criteria here, then just try and group it based on what you think is best. So let me just show you what this means. We're going to leave merge sort groups checked. We're going to just analyze the keyword density of two word keyword frequencies. Minimum number of keywords of five per ad group. Let's analyze common themes. Hit next. And you'll notice in the preview window here, we have one big sort group that contains 420 keywords right here. 
So that's exactly what the sort feature does. It groups all the keywords that didn't fit into any of the groups based on the criteria that we have set in the settings. Now let's look at option B. Let's say, hey, keyword grouper, try and figure out the best group for it, even if it doesn't have, for example, a minimum number of keywords per ad group of five. So we'll hit apply, generate common themes, and we'll hit next. And this is going to produce quite a few sort groups. And that's keyword grouper's way of trying to figure out the best way to group keywords. So there's some that are just in a generic sort group, but if we scroll down, we might be able to find a few. Let's let's just hit next. Let's scroll down here. So here we go. Here's a good example. So Columbus, Ohio. It found a common theme for Columbus, Ohio, and these are all broad. These are all unique keywords, and it's saying these might be a good group. Same as Glass Block, or Grand Rapids, or Home Depot. So it tries to find common themes amongst your keyword list. So that is the merge sort groups. Another feature within Keyword Grouper is the ability to set a minimum number of keywords per group. So you can say, I don't want to see keyword groupings with anything less than four. So you can set the minimum number of keywords per group to four. and if available, every single keyword grouping with four will show up. So we can hit apply. Let's give this a shot. 72 potential groups. And then we see nothing less than four within all of these groups. So that's pretty self-explanatory and it's a very powerful feature. The campaigns area here, we can enter a name. So call it campaign number one. We can hit apply generate themes, hit next, and then we can see the campaign column shows up here. Another useful feature within Keyword Grouper is the ability to merge singular and plural keywords into one group. So for example, we see garden window and garden windows as the names of the potential ad groups or groups. What we can do is we can say merge singular and plural words into one group. This is useful when we don't care if the keyword is singular or plural. So we have garden window and garden windows. Let's generate the common themes. And now let's take a look and see if we can find garden windows ad group. Here we go. So here's the group, Garden Windows. It contains six keywords. You'll notice the group name is plural, but it does contain singular type keywords like Garden Window, Garden Window Prices. So that's what Merge Singular and Plural Keywords checkbox does. It merges singular words into the plural groups. Keyword Grouper also comes with filter boxes here. So the keyword grouping settings are pretty much filters that allow you to exclude keyword groupings that contain certain words. These are words like stop words, such as to, of, for, as, is, of, the, and, and so on. You probably don't want to create groups with these words in them. If you do, it's fine. But if you don't, you always have the option to Ignore keyword groupings that contain or contain the full word at the beginning or the ending of the phrase or even the entire word. So I removed the filters that were in there. Let's hit apply and let's hit generate common themes. So we see a group called how to, for example. Let's say we did not want any group to begin with how, the entire word. So we can put how in there, hit apply, generate common themes, and you'll notice that that how to group actually went away. So 
here's a window group called of windows. What we can do is say we don't want any groups beginning with the word of. Hit apply. And then that will no longer be a keyword grouping option. So these filters really allow you to eliminate stop words that often clutter the naming convention of your ad groups. So by adding these keywords, you can make a nice, neat, clean keyword grouping list and be able to output it and explain it to people a lot more easily. And plus the ad group names or the group names will be more descriptive. It will be pretty much just the noun part of the keyword phrase. So that's what the filter settings do. And that's pretty much all the settings here on step two. Let's go on to step three, which is just the preview, which you've seen several times now. It shows you the group name, the quantity of keywords in each group, what those keywords are. You can scroll down, preview it, hit the previous screen, go to the next screen. And then now we're going to talk about the results tab. The results screen allows you to export your data from Keyword Grouper into a format that you want. So the way you do that is you click the export button. You have several options here. You can export the document as PDF, HTML, MHT, RTF, Excel, CSV, text file, or image file. You can also watermark the document. You can color it. You can do whatever you want. You can email it to yourself. You can also preview the structure, and that's pretty much it. So let me just show you how to export this. I commonly export into CSV. You hit CSV, it will export somewhere on your computer. It'll say, do you want to open this file? You say yes, and now you have your entire structure right here. What you can do from here is you can actually take all this information, go to insert, pivot table, and then you can add add group and keywords within those groups, and then you can collapse them. And now we can see, for example, garden window and garden windows, what keywords go into that group, this group, and so on. What's a nice thing also is if you want to export this data into AdWords Editor, it's very easy to do. You literally just copy this. You go into here, go into the Keywords tab, make multiple changes, paste everything. And now we've just created a campaign called Campaign Number 1. These are the names of the groups. These are their match types. These are the keywords within each group and so on. So, for example, home windows, home windows, house windows, Lansing, Michigan windows, and so on. So that concludes the tutorial and training of Keyword Grouper. I'm always here if you have any questions or comments, and I'm looking for any feedback you have, whether it's good or bad. If you think a feature would be good, also let me know so I can add it to the program. Thanks for watching.